This is Twit. All right, so this was big news. I saw a lot of people uh, getting in on this one. Google Photos uh, yeah. is going to stop offering free unlimited storage to users. Photos uploads will begin charging for any storage space beyond the 15 gigs of free storage that's included with Google accounts. These changes actually take place on June 1st, 2021. So anything uploaded before June 1st uh, in high quality will still not count against the 15 gigs of default drive storage. Current Pixel owners, because Pixel owners were, you know, have since I think since day one with Google Photos been the recipients of free storage, be it original storage, original quality, but that free storage went away a couple of years ago, but still maintain the high quality storage. They're going to continue, we are going to get continue to get uh, unlimited free uploads if using high quality. However, future Pixel devices, it's been confirmed, uh, will not support uh, any of those free uploads. So kind of the gravy train ends with the Pixel 5, I think, as far as that's concerned. Um, so, so what yeah, was what was funny it? was my my wife got the email from Google about this and was like, oh, Google's going to start charging for Google Photos. I was like, not for me. And I <laughs> completely dismissed it. And then like an hour later, I got the email. And I was like, oh, well, wait a minute. This is something. Right? <laughs> this is something that's happening. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, but I am on Google One. It. My my legacy Gmail account uh, that is not public um, that I've been on since since back in the beta days ran out of space, and so mm -hmm. I was forced to go into Google One. So I'm already paying that. So like, mm -hmm. and that's what my Google Photos account is associated with. So like, I'm good, I think, and I'm a Pixel owner. Yeah, I mean, right? you're you're good, right? You're good until you decide to, I suppose, upgrade to a newer Pixel. At which time, all of your photos, whether they're high quality or or original quality, will count against your storage space. And even then, you're still good until you run out of space in your Google One account. And you have to upgrade to the next tier. Right. Which, which, yeah. Which I let me uh, let me do a check to see where I'm at with that. But uh, I think I'm going to be okay. Um, yeah. Um, Burke just highlighted Google One pricing oh. is not changing. That's true. I mean, and the pricing is pretty reasonable if you're well, it's pretty pretty reasonable all around. I'm on the two hundred gig Google One plan, so that's two ninety nine a month. And yeah. the way I figure, like for two ninety nine for backing up a bunch of my data to the cloud and, and not having to stress about it, like I'm cool with that. Um, yeah. Although I will say, I did I did a takeout, a Google takeout of my photos library. That's a fun one. It's a more than a terabyte of photos that Google is Jeez. holding on to for me. <laughs> so I ended up with well, 19, well, five, uh, 19 50 gig file uh, zip files. <laughs> well, what I think is interesting is that is is that so I'm at 62.6 .6 gig of my 100 gig use. So I mean, it's, it's funny because I'm like, oh, I still got 40 gig, but now I'm like sweating because I'm like 40 gig like Ten years ago, forty gig would have been like, like, yeah. like, like more storage than you'd ever need. But now I'm like, oh, I think we have to fill oh. it up quickly. But also, like, if you if you're a Google Drive user, have you noticed that annoying pop up that they've been reminding everybody that the trash settings are changing? Yes, mm -hmm. um, we get it. And yeah, I get it. Yeah. Like, so here's a larger question: Is the unlimited storage banks of Google actually did they hit their limit? Yeah, I mean that's a good question, right? Like, I mean. Google's been doing this this kind of free thing for five years, I believe. It's a good amount of time. You know, it it just really what it does for me is it is it reinforces just the true the the fact that when we do what we've been doing, which is keeping you know our data in somebody else's cloud at any point, those rules can change, and we just kind of have to. I mean, I hate to say it, we kind of have to be okay with that because in the case of of this, like. Google's been holding on to a terabyte of my data for free. And so I'm not going to complain about that. Like, that's crazy that I've, that for I five mean, years, I've been, I've been storing that Do we have to be okay much. with that? Well, I do don't know. We? I mean, I guess the flip, the flip side of that is Google, you know, monetizes on our data in other ways. So is this double dipping? I've seen people complain about that. And I don't know. I, I mean, I, I guess it's it kind of is. I think it's frustrating. Like at first I was really rolling my eyes at the 
just the numerous memes that were coming out and just how far some people were taking this. But then I realized, you know, it is sort of frustrating. A couple of years back, I uploaded every photo that I have, every digital photo that I have in my possession uh, to Google Photos so that I'd have it everywhere so that they could you know, I could take advantage of that great search algorithm. I can, you know, every picture from any year, I could just like bring it up. No problem. It really is like having a, it's like having the, the memory files that are in my brain, having them Mm -hmm. into a digital form. Mm -hmm, However, mm -hmm. it's sort of frustrating now down the line to think, well, yeah, the stuff that I uploaded with the pixel is not going to count against that ever, theoretically, for a lifetime. Theoretically, it's never gonna count, yeah, totally. But what about all the other stuff I keep adding? You know, I just recently switched to OnePlus and we're adding more people to the photo albums because there's like shared photo albums now that people are really investing in. And it's become this like little social network gathering. And I get the idea of Google One and how that's supposed to all integrate. But as a consumer, I'm just sort of frustrated that I gave all of these photos to help build this wonderful machine algorithm to be able to identify anything at the drop of a search term. But now years later, I have to really think about adding on to I have to really think about what I'm paying for again. And I have to keep Mm. going through this cycle and keep thinking like, well, where is my data going to be stored Um, It's like having a bunch of physical stuff and having to move storage sheds, you know, and and it's such a pain in the butt. And I feel the the same way about it digitally because it's something that I have to manage. It's time. It's something that I have to devote time to. That's my argument. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, for too long. And honestly, for too long. I mean, I know personally I was lulled. It's something I used to you used to worry about what managing a local hard drive Right. And then the the cloud has instilled this level of of confidence slash luxury yeah. slash relaxation where I literally haven't thought about this for years. So mm-hmm. yeah. Now I had something else to think about to. on top of everything else that I have to think about. You know, it's uh it's annoying and it's also just kind of now I'm understanding too why people are really complaining about Google killing things. Because now that I'm giving more and more money to Google, I'm realizing that this could be the status quo for anything else that I sign up for in this ecosystem. Like, I really have to start thinking about, am I going to have to, like, pay for this down the line? Like, is this just a test bed that I'm a part of right now? And it's setting a precedent that I don't like. Whereas I feel like a company like Apple, just to bring up an example. It's just up front and says, we need you to pay for this iCloud storage. Here's Mm -hmm. the tiers. Boom, boom, boom. And just sort of expect that as a part of the experience. Yeah, I mean, comparing against iCloud, right? Like uh, if you do a free iCloud, you know, the free iCloud storage from my understanding is five gigs. Google gives you 15. So already they're they're giving you a whole lot more. when I think of this this service storage, like kind of like what you were saying, Ron, this is this is a problem that I never really spent a whole lot of time thinking very much about because it just was the way it was. But when I really think about it now, would I really expect a, any company in the world to provide a service like this for free in perpetuity forever? And like, no, I, I kind of don't. And and maybe that's the pessimistic side of me as far as corporations and businesses are concerned. But at the end of the day, they are there to make money. And yeah. like when I think of the exponential growth of my own photo and video library, just from a storage perspective, I'm one person in this world and I've got a terabyte of free storage on their servers. And then you scale that across to everyone that's storing mm-hmm. their stuff on Google servers. Like that's insane how much. And I, I yes, I totally get it. Google used that data to build the systems that we also benefited from because that was part of the free service that we were using, right? So it was, uh, as you said, a couple of episodes, Flo, it was collateral. You know, it was our collateral. It's like, (laughs) here you go. You can have this for free. Give me that for free. And uh, they did that. And now now they've decided, all right, we've given you your value. And now we want you to pay $2 a month. And you know what? This makes me, I just, 
we've been talking about this a lot. It started with the whole Google Play Music uh, turnover, and I feel like this is another place where this really uh, could work. Is just you got to have that home server. You got to have mm-hmm. your stuff locally mm-hmm. stored. There's got to be. I really want to crack the nut of just how to get. Uh, everybody into this idea because we've just been sold all this like cloud storage, just pay for it, just put it away. You don't have to worry about it. But I feel like it is time we hit the stop button just the way that life has sort of forced us to hit the stop button this year in 2020 and reclaim that data. I, I'm very serious about this because we kind of forgot that we have to take stock of it just like anything tangible. So that's my campaign Mm -hmm. for 2021. Mm -hmm. That's your platform. That's fair. I think it's, That's I think my it's a good. It's a good. It's a good platform to be on. I mm-hmm. think for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough.